Welcome back to Sleeping Room, and oh, I can't even go widescreen on this. Oh, nope. Well. well, now we're gonna do a quick review of Brady Games, then and now. Oh. Uh, remember when? Nope, I don't remember when. Man rolled. Wait, is your mind from the 70s, 80s, or 90s? Depends. What question are we asking? This is a really long freaking poster. I know! It's a poster of like... of like example of map card rooms. Like, well, this is long. I know! No, it even tells you how many enemies are gonna be in there! It, okay, it's so... It's so awesome! Brady Games off obviously, obviously, obviously has been around a very long time. Yeah, you can even ask Prima that. I thought it was Prima, but okay, whatever. I call um, it Prima. Actually, you know what? I guess there's... So, the Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, Dream Drop Distance has uh, some nice flash pages, I guess, at the end of it. Art gallery! And that's it, really. Which basically, by art gallery, means you can find those pictures in high, res high resolution on the internet anyway. Exactly. The coast looks at the guide as he shakes his head and occasionally does the emoticon face palm. Oh, oh, he's showing the Nostalgia Critic I Don't Like It face. He looks at all those keyblades and realizing there's a few short. In variety, that is. He checks out the ultimate weapon and he shakes his head. He continues to read it like as if he's reading a manga. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sora's just hopping around like a like a freaking idiot, trying to get Moogle points, and obviously failing. Oh wait, I'm talking about my own gameplay. Wow, I just insulted myself. Good bad there's no instant replay. Oh wait, people are actually going and rewinding the thing. Oh jeez. Oh look, we buy our last card pack! Or mixed card pack, and that I have nothing to say on that blizzard. The coast seriously tries to figure out what is going on. I would say he's pulling off a Nicolas Cage, but then that's kind of insulting. <laughs> Actually that is pretty uh, insulting. Now, hold on a second. Why... If Way to the Dawn and Kingdom Key are both Sora's and Riku's ultimate keyblades, why are they the weakest in all of the games? For RPG-like purposes. That doesn't make any sense. It should be static strength boosts. It should be... It, it, I mean, really. I can understand reach... But strength and magic should always should just have a give them a, give all the keyblades a static ten, have certain boosts or certain qualities that the other keyblades don't have, right? In order to give them a strategic advantage and disadvantage. Instead of instead of just face rolling all over your control pad and touch screen and upper screen. <laughs> okay, excuse me for that, but uh, yes, I would call it face rolling. Uh, I call it eye rolling. Not eye rolling, face. You apply face to the screen, and then you roll your face all over it. 
Me like what Jabba the Hutt does with free glasses? Not really. Kind of, but not really. Oh. Apply face to keyboard, and then just roll your face on it for a while and mash it up and down. You hit keys, and then skills come out of it, right? Right. Oh, I was thinking that's how Shades of Grey was, was fully finalized. So instead of... Well, actually, yes, that actually does work that way, too. <laughs> but going past that. And instead of just choosing the strongest equipment and just rolling your face all over your controls, why isn't there... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me, but I feel that, really, the world needs a little bit more balance. Why don't we start with games? Like, I mean, six, for example, but that's... Actually, yes, that's actually a really good example. Uh, <laughs> yes, the big crowd thing is too overpowered. I'm so glad I didn't use it in the finale. Rah, 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 rah. DL starts mocking off. Sorry, I was entranced by the Queen's dance. Oh my gosh, it's that guy! You mean the guy that juggles fire? He's the trickster! Oh yeah, I, I was gonna say, watch this! Like, literally, like, I only had to use the Mickey card once. Really? That's a lot of HP, bro. I mean, look at the skills. I, I will promise you this, the table will not get flipped. Why I did that? That was a waste. <laughs> oh, that's why Sabi doesn't end up hitting the table. But I realize I don't have enough cards. Oh yeah, he doesn't even touch me. I I don't even get hurt from him once. Yeah, what? What? Just get card broken. Ow! I just got hit. Well, that kind of thing. I would start now. Actually, for this battle, I would uh, preload. Oh, cards. oh, you're about to hit the table? Nope, card broken. Come on! Oh, you want to hit? Nope. Car broken. I haven't even seen it kicking me. I mean, I mean, really? Like what? Oh, I dare you to want to take down the table. Nope. Car broke. Hey, look. Done. Like wow. Get out of my house. Wait, but I live in an apartment. Well, get out of my shit. But you live in an apartment. How do you have a... Yeah! I flipped Get out of my closet. <laughs> that means you too are, Kelly. I know the saga's still continuing. And I'm actually kind of glad that it still is. Wait, there's a Ventus nightmare now? Yes. Interesting. But this is all on Riku's side. Apparently Riku has the better final boss fight than Sora's final boss fight. Huh. Casey was right. You do have to kill a clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, you have to kill a clock. Okay. Well, yes. Uh, that's interesting. That, that's like, interesting indeed. Yeah, I'm going to take down your HP. Yeah, what well, now? Oh, yeah? I have a clock. A clock! Clock! Die, clock! Die! Just hit! hit! <laughs> Actually, Brady Games... They've always had a strong suit with maps. They should have done the maps for Game of Thrones. And looking at, and looking at it, that's that still proves true. I freaking hate Joshua. His personality. His moveset's not that bad, but still, Joshua. It's nothing. Well, guess you'll be safe now. You said it, Goofy. You said it. Mm. Welcome to the tutorial! Surprise boss fight! 
Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That actually... Wait, do I do what I think I'm doing? Yeah, I'm gonna do it! You're gonna do it. Nope. Wait, do I do it in this world or the next one? I don't know. Next, probably. Yep, next world. Next world, I do it. Who was that that I remembered earlier? It wasn't Kyrie. Was there someone else? What was her name again? I know it. It was. It was. That's just a warning for flash floods and stuff. Don't worry about it. How can I hear that? Where is that coming from? I don't even have the TV set on. <laughs> My phone. Whoa, your phone has flash phoning warnings? Yep. Whoa. My phone is old. Oh, look. There's even ponies in Kingdom Hearts. Like, really. Yes. And you will not believe what I'm going to name that. No, oh. I actually don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you can color them in a different color. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's going to need a lot of cyan blue, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh look, you even get an angel rabbit too. I remember. Actually, no. Um, looking at the beast area, Brady Games seems to have a pretty consistent quality. When comparing, uh, actually, yes, they actually really do have a decent, uh, bestiary, bestiary. I mean, look at these stats, man. Look at these stats. I know, I see that. And people are complaining that they don't tell you, like, the right type of, like, synthetic items to use to create certain dream meters. Actually, yeah, uh, Brady Games does have a very, very good consistency between both type between the then and now versions. So I'd give it about a 10 for consistency, right? Wait, how can they I... Con they have consistently good maps, consistently good information. Um, how could you, what? Yeah. But... Where are these ingredients so I can make my... Rainbow Dash? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh... Mm. That'd be all the way back. Go back here. to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> Dream pieces, here we go. Um... Okay, so... You actually don't. Okay, key items found in Dream Drop Distance are spirit recipes. The the lone non-recipe item is a stage gadget. A contraption used to control the opera stage equipment in the county of in the country of the Musketeers. Okay, excuse me, county of Musketeers. I don't know. I was close. Below is a complete list of all the spirit recipes available in the game. Each recipe uses specific ingredients to create the spirit named. To use a recipe, open the menu and select spirits. Oh, hey, we're a monstro. Yep. Yes, we are. So... Okay, so why is there a spirit eater named Dragon Dragon? Dragon Dragon! Oh, the Dragon Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Shabaki, I see what that's referencing there. <laughs> Step into the Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Ball GT!
So every time I hear it, all I can think of is a white guy and a black guy. I don't know why. That's the that's the only thing I can. Oh think look, of. and I'll ask a corn. I'm gonna name you something. Hmm. <laughs> Royal cake. Looks like you don't get to make your ponies. I'm not seeing either recipe here. Oh well. No! <gasps> Insert whatever reference you think oh. works best for that. Oh, my foot's asleep. I hate How that. is your foot asleep? I was sitting on it wrong. <laughs> you wanna know what sucks about Monstro? Simba! 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 No. Simba! Actually, yes. No. The fact that I the fact that I barely ran into any spiders. Spider! Yeah. I can see where you're going with that. Come on! Sure is a lot of friend cards here. Actually, you know what? That makes sense. I guess you would want to save most of your meeting grounds for higher level so that you can get more training limits. Wait, wait. The strategy guy will counteract you. you. Just have to put it at the right page. And say, hey, guess what? No meeting grants for you. Wait, Destiny Island? Read map information. The sample map of Destiny Island is creating using all meeting ground cards. While the rooms you create won't look the same as the ones here, the special door requirements and the layout of floor pens are identical. Okay, you wanna know what the irony is? In Destiny Island, you have no friends! That is sad. And yet they're using the layout for meeting ground, where you get more friend cards. So Destiny, so that's the final floor, no. and you don't have friends there. <laughs> the final floor before the final door, to the actual So wait a second, floor. you actually need a... So you... Okay, so what's up with the 33 numbers? What does that represent? Oh, that represents the special doors. We won't get to that till episode something. Nah! <laughs> I don't know. But okay, so, I don't so know. 23, I guess? Back to the Brady games that we kind of get really distracted. Sorry about that. I, yeah. Uh, I get sidetracked all the time. Brady games seems to have consistent quality, but lately their work is just really lacking. Even more than Prima, and that's saying something. Actually, Prima has always been really lacking anyways. I know. That's saying something. Uh, not really. Uh, Brady Games will, in my opinion, will at least try. Prima doesn't. Getting Prima to try is like trying to get somebody to actually do dishes at my house. Or trying to get Nintendo Game Guides back. Oh, God, yeah. Because I only have it for Mario and Luigi's Super Star Saga. Look at that card break! Okay, really, why uh, doesn't Riku have any zeros in his deck uh, in the final level? Let's see. Oh, look, an advertisement for Tron 2.0! In, in the Brady Games Guide! Remember yeah. when they used to do that? Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, this is actually this the, the weirdest foreshadowing ever. Really, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the Chamber Strategy Guide, there is a there is an advertisement. There is, an, there is a Tron advertisement. <laughs> and guess what shows up later? The Game Arts Games. The Game Arts Two. The very next game after Chain of Memories, Game of Hearts Two, has Tron in it. Yes. Who knew? <laughs> Uh -huh. Right, take you to. Let's see here. Nope, nope. There's zero cards. There's a zero high potion, and there's only four zero cards in this deck. That is very interesting. Yeah. 
What's funny is that they don't give you the deck in which you have between the different floors. Since you do have different decks between the different floors. Yet they don't cover that. That's the one thing they don't cover. Oh yeah, and they also do a short thing about Link Mode and all that. We'll do a bonus video on that! Mike! Mark someone's words on that. Don't mark my words on it. I like my words. Oh, I'm just gonna say flat out right now, based on how I went through this area, yeah! Even though I know where all the rooms are, I still try to open up every single room. If you haven't already figured it out already. Seriously, the, through the entire Wonderland thing, didn't you notice something like that? Kind of? Kind no? Of. That's okay. Okay. The I'm majority of you hate. don't even read descriptions anyway, based, based upon uh, the comments that I've gotten so far. That's interesting. Riku starts out in Hollow Bastion? Yes. Most because of how it's connected to what he did in Hollow Bastion in Hearts 1. Well, yeah, I understand that perfectly. Because... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it works. It works. Not really, but it works. Um, Actually, the majority of these... And he goes for Atlantica. The majority of these floors are just throwaway floors. Like, literally, you go for the floor, you go straight to the... You go straight to the boss battle, done! 